What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here outside of the thrift store. Now, I know for a fact there's going to be a lot of resellers in here. There is a thrift meetup going on in Connecticut right now. It started at about 9 a.m. and it's about 12.30 so I'm super late. I was working on an Amazon shipment doing work but I'm here now so this place is probably going to be picked over but I'm going to film inside and I'm sure we're still going to find some stuff. If I don't, I'm going to be showing you everybody else's finds. Let's see what kind of gems are hidden inside of this thrift store. I'm pretty excited. Oh no, is it locked? Nope. Let's go. There we go. We got the what first up, people. Dude? We got Good Steve Rakin. What's up, man? What do you got? got some books. Uh, Jana Lee's found this really cool book set right here. Oh. Okay, she's right. selling for about uh, 75 bucks. Really? Maybe a little bit of a slow seller, but Not I love um, book sets. Yeah. Or new, but this is new sealed, so. Hell yeah. Sweet. Good find. Very cool. Look at this, guys. Normally, this would be a cop, big time. Polaroid Sun 600. $10 is pretty crazy. You get about 20, 25 bucks for these. 10 bucks is nuts. 15 for this one, also nuts. Now, you always got to check because the colors sometimes are 25, 50, and 75% off. So, I mean, this might be 50% off and nobody grabbed it. I have no idea. Got to check up front and see if it's on sale. So here we are, and I found this Vineyard Vines, and it's a women's kind of beach pullover. It was six dollars. I saw it sitting there on the rack saying hi to a few more people in here. And Steve is looking it up on the phone right now, seeing what it goes for. And guys, take a look at that. Fifty-three dollars. Fifty-three bucks for this thing. They only want six, and this is fifty-three plus shipping. I left it for somebody else to grab because I'm not really selling clothing too much anymore. Just whatever I have listed, I'm keeping listed. And all of my stuff that I never got around to listing, I'm just getting rid of in bulk because clothing just moves so slow for me. But I'm sure somebody was able to turn 6 into 50 right away. That actually is something I probably should have grabbed because it's probably a fast seller. It's a great brand, but you know I'm just heading out of it. Now, you guys see how many board games there are here. So many and I'm seeing some sealed ones too but sad thing is I think the other resellers got here before me because I'm scanning them and uh, none of the sealed ones are worth anything not a single one of them but you could just see that there's so many and guys a lot of them are used don't sleep on used board games you guys are seeing these prices pop up on the screen used board games can go for great money if they're obscure if they're rare always keep an eye out sometimes I just go around and scan every single board game because you don't know which one is going to be that rare obscure one that just happens to go for a lot of money and you can see I'm still finding a whole bunch of new ones, but you're going to see these same ones everywhere you go. Sex in the City, Twilight, Hannah Montana, uh, High School Musical. You're going to see these at every thrift store, and they're almost always going to be sealed. That's because they're not worth anything. Nobody ever wanted to play them, and they're just sitting around. Here's something sealed that I could have scanned, but see that little dent on the box right there? This would be something I'd want to send into Amazon. And at used, it's not worth much. Brand new, it would be worth a little bit. But the issue is, Amazon's a lot more strict. If you sell things with dents in them or dings in them, you can't sell them as new. They have to be pristine condition. Now, eBay, you can be a little more, you, know, you can bend the rules a little bit. I actually just sold these items right here, these Rumble Robots, as brand new. But they had heavy box damage. But I got a message from the buyer saying, hey, I realize how bad condition they are. I'm willing to buy them um, I'll give you $50 and I shot back 60 we ended up agreeing on 5250 and you can see I had them listed for a hundred dollars and I was happy to take the 5250 I mean hey why not moving over to the electronics here's a pioneer for $15 that seems like a good deal here's a Toshiba DVD VCR combo for 15 and then you start seeing some of these other prices, 20, 30, 25. There's the 30 right there. These prices are a little high. Uh, none of these items are tested. You can try to test them here, but I feel like each time I try and test something in a thrift store, I get home and I realize one thing isn't working on the machine. Uh, 20 bucks is a lot to be just dropping on a piece of random electronic where this thrift store is cash only. And you can see they have as is circled on that because they don't test things here. It's cash only, no returns. I stepped on gum. I realized this area is just not looking too hot. Now, I didn't look up this Pioneer, but you guys can see it popped up on the screen. I looked it up right here as I'm editing this video. I don't know if it's worth anything, but hey, maybe it is. I see this Canon and 
it's a brand new sealed printer looking good brand new tape checking it out looks good they want 19 20 bucks for it flip it around there's a hole in the box this is something that some people might sell as brand new over on amazon i don't like to risk my account for anything at all because amazon is my livelihood so i see this bob punching bag 100 dollars. you can see somebody originally priced it at 49 and now it's 100 so what the heck is going on there uh, all these pull-up bars 100 each on these workout machines so definitely too much but you see this bob punching bag sells for $200 local pickup on eBay, one sold for $140. It could have been worth it. I mean, to carry that thing out to the car, stick it in there, store it, wait for a local pickup um, to after fees make 50 to 80 bucks. It really depends on if it sells for 200 If it sells for 150 locally, you could have turned 100 into 50 bucks. That's actually not a horrible flip because I don't know. Anybody could use 50 bucks, right? <laughs> I just left it behind. Would you guys have picked that up? I chose not to. Uh, meeting somebody else here, she has a bunch of really cool things in her car. I wanted to take a look at them. I see this brand new Pokemon bag, brand new with tags. $20 though, kind of high in my opinion. Definitely not something I'd pick up. I see this Stone Dog for $30. Again, pretty high in my opinion. This thrift store's prices have gotten a little out of hand as you guys can see i'm gonna pan around to all these chairs here and oh my gosh they have so much inventory that's not moving because the prices are too high and sometimes you just have to walk away and head to another thrift store and that's exactly what we're gonna do here we are at the next goodwill guys it is really raining outside now so we're gonna head inside hope we get some good stuff who's leaving their cart like this on all these rocks all right, let's go inside, see Steve over there. I guess I'm gonna just wait underneath this awning for people. Now inside of this thrift store, I actually do end up buying a few things that you will see throughout the video. The other thrift store, yeah, there were items I definitely could have purchased. I showed up late, so like I said in the beginning, there were already a bunch of resellers there. A lot of people bought a lot of things, so there are things to still find even if you're in a thrift store with other resellers. Everybody has a different niche. Everybody has something different that they're looking for, so don't let that deter you. Now, I see some PlayStation 3 controllers right away. Got kind of excited, three bucks each. And look at that, they're fake. Actually, one's three and one's five. I don't know why they priced it like that. And they're fake, they're knockoffs. You don't wanna sell those. Always keep an eye out. That's something that you have to realize at thrift stores. Knockoffs and fake items run rampant. Fake clothing, fake electronics, fake toys, fake everything. So you wanna be perfectly, you, you wanna be very diligent is the word I'm looking for. And really look over these items. Make sure you're not buying and selling fake goods. You could get in a lot of trouble on eBay and Amazon for that. And some items are harder to realize if they're real or not. And you know what? I just be careful. And if I have any inkling that it's fake, I don't buy it. And you got to do that sometimes. And you know, it is what it is. It's no problem. I'm looking around here at the electronics. So I like to go to the electronics first. That's usually where I find the bigger, the bigger and the biggest scores are at the electronics section. I see this Rite Aid Christmas lighted um, ceramic thing. And Rite Aid is going out of business around me, so maybe that will have some value around Christmas time, but I doubt it. I mean, who's buying Rite Aid things? They might be. I didn't look it up, and I'm breaking my own rule by not looking everything up, but I am filming. I'm using my phone to film, so I'm kind of going off my own knowledge. Now, these Panasonic Omnivisions can go for great money. Always keep an eye out for them. This one was priced a little high, didn't have the remote, and it wasn't. There was no Amazon listing for it, but you could always sell them over on eBay. Now, you could have seen this a little bit earlier in the video in the last clip or two, the Sony under the cabinet CD player. These go for great money, guys, and this guy's testing it right here. They wanted $5, and it has the remote, all the mount units, all the brackets and everything. Great buy, sells for between $35 and $50. He could probably get more since it has the remote. Now, I see a whole bunch of brand new items, and I was hoping some store just went out of business and dropped these off. I was getting kind of excited. Ugh, $50 white tag, that means they're from Target, which means uh, the prices are probably not going to be good enough to sell on Amazon. So, you guys can see some of the prices up on the screen. There's just no money to be made in this stuff. They're all priced too high, $25. There's just no money to be made, and 
Goodwill does actually buy pallets of items from Target. Things that don't sell at Target on clearance, Goodwill will purchase in huge bulk and sell it in their store. At least around me they do. And I'm in Connecticut. I've seen it all around New England. So keep an eye out for that. I have made some money on that kind of stuff. On the smaller items like video games. Stuff that's very cheap to ship off. You could still make some money. But look at this Samsung soundbar. They're asking $70. This sells on eBay brand new for about 90 ish dollars so obviously no money to be made shipping on this thing would be insane plus the fees alone would kill you then I look over three bucks a piece on these bins not horrible deal uh, but they're all missing the lid I was gonna use them for storage for inventory but I kinda wanted the lid I mean I three bucks is still not a bad deal but I'm sure somebody else bought them and uh, hey see not all target clearance items are a bad deal <laughs> now I have a question to pose to all of you right now. Have you ever bought artwork from a thrift store to resell? I have never done that. Now I have purchased artwork from a thrift store for myself to hang on the walls, but never to resell. And I was taking a quick look at this. It's from 1918, but it's actually a reprint. You can see me feeling it here. It's made to look like it's brush strokes, but it's not. It's, it's all uh, just reprint on canvas or on a piece of paper sort of. And they wanted 15 bucks for it. I looked up the info right here. Couldn't find any sold. There's a few listed for 50 bucks or so, but I don't know. I've never purchased art to resell. If you have, let me know down below and let me know if you've actually made some good money with it because I've always been curious about it. I see this Kodak bag right here, scanned it up, brand new with tags. Definitely worth it. Oh my gosh. The Goodwill wrote in Sharpie 5G 2Y, whatever that means. The 5 means the price, G means the color of the tag, the 2Y, I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, kind of crazy. I couldn't purchase it because I can't sell that on Amazon. I would have made about 30 bucks on it. It's a shame when that happens, and sometimes you just have to leave things behind. Um, a lot of my Goodwills around me will write on clothing, they will write on toys in Sharpie, they will write on shoes, on everything, and look at this another punching mannequin now these things are worth good money this one's 50 but it has electronics and there's no way of me to test it right here uh again i don't really want to buy these to take up the space and see but this one i think sells for a little bit more than the other one and hey if i had purchased them both we could have been looking at some solid money there we go oh that is that that lucky horseshoe right there <laughs> oh and they're both only, uh, well, one's 10. Yeah, Yours are only mean? five, I believe. Five? Uh, yeah, it should be about five bucks. Four or five. Yeah. Not bad. Not and what's the other thing that you have? Oh, I'm just looking at it. Oh, just for you. Oh, is it Forever 21? Yeah. Yeah, this is Forever 21. Hey. Sweet. <laughs> this is going to be perfect for, yeah, I go snowboarding, but it's skiers, but I'm going to wear it out next time I go, I guess. It looks cool. As I dropped that sweater there that I was purchasing for myself, I decided to come check out the video games. And guys, keep an eye out for this game, Tiger Woods Masters, but look for the 2014 model, not the 2012. There's no money in that one, but you guys can see it right up here on the screen. You could sell this game for good money on the Xbox 360. Uh, it held its value. Uh, moving around the corner to the CDs, I actually did purchase a few of these right here, scanned up all the new ones I could find, and you see some of the prices popping up on the screen right here. There's, you know, there's good money in this stuff. I know a lot of people are restricted, but I do like to show it because I like to show that, yes, people are still buying older media. You could do the same with VHS tapes. You can do the same with DVDs, and again, sell them on Amazon, sell them on eBay if you can't sell them on Amazon. There's multiple other platforms to sell this stuff, even Mercari, right? Even locally. And they found some more of this Lululemon here at the end. Look at all of this stuff. That's a lot of quality stuff. Uh, prices, I don't know if they're super high, $10 for or $9 per skirt. I Like I said, I'm getting out of clothing selling, but again, there are great deals and great brands to be found at these thrift stores all the time. And, you know, there's so many people in here, but everybody is finding something. So always hit up your stores every day and hopefully you'll find some great stuff. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya.